You're not going to crash this, are you? I'm going to try not to crash. Joel Timmerman only has about 100 hours of flight experience as a pilot. For some reason, I decided to put my life in his hands and hop aboard today. So that's Hood, Jefferson, Washington. Uh, what do you like best about flying? Everything. I've always dreamed of being an astronaut, and this is as close to being an astronaut as I'm going to get. Yeah. And uh, just the, the feeling of flying and the G forces that uh, that you get, and this is the only flight simulator where you get, you know, that same sort of feeling to be able to just see see the Earth like nobody else sees it. Then Joel started feeling a little big for his britches. We're gonna dive a little, pick up yeah. some more speed. Uh huh. Now you're getting a little radical on there. Oh, 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 we're gonna crash. Memories of another near-air disaster flashed through my mind. Flight 209, you are cleared for takeoff. Roger. Huh? LA departure frequency 123.9. Roger. Huh? Request vector. Over. What? Flight 209, clear for vector 324. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? We escaped the jaws of death. Fortunately, Joel and I survived our crash thanks to the safety of North Star Flight Lab's simulator next to the Redmond Airport. It's really designed for actual FAA regulated flight training. So we can sit in there, um, log time with it. It's the best classroom you could possibly have. You can sit there and you can hit the pause button when your student's crashing into the ocean or crashing into another airplane. Is this realistic? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Super realistic. Like when I'm in here, I get uh, I get vertigo, and uh, and I feel everything that you're supposed to feel. But at North Star, it's nowhere near all serious all the time. Oh, your video game enthusiasts get a kick in the pants with it too. It's the best real life video game you could ever be in. Come on, baby. Former school teacher and current F-22 jet pilot Kara Rasmussen can attest to that. This is awesome. It's a little intimidating, especially if this is the real deal. It's a lot of responsibility flying this F-22. But like the rest of us, she's got to work on her landings. This is not going to be good, guys. In the trees. 